words, when we say eco-friendly, it is an eco-conscious uh, kind of a living. I believe truly living with nature is a blessing by itself in many different ways. It is about also your well-being. It is about your mind, body, soul and shelter is one such, you know, your house, your dream house, uh, where you spend most of your time. So I think um, we have massacred Kathmandu Valley architecturally, I would say. Last 50, 60 years of house construction and, and the whole beauty of this Darwar Square and the whole settlement versus the new settlement with all the concrete. I'm not going against the mainstream kind of a construction, uh, but the kind of uh, ingenuity that we have lost in the process, the kind of indigenous knowledge that we have lost in the process, and we are swayed away with a mainstream kind of a new construction materials, new, and it has different ramification altogether. So when I say about vernacular architecture, so I also wanted to bring back some essence of that, our cultural heritage and to blend with a modern living, some reuse of those materials. Uh, for example, rammed dot. The whole house, whole earth is extracted from my own land. If we can get the earth from the site, that saves a lot of energy, time and also cost. Then we can reduce up, up to 30% of the total cost required for ram earth. Because the material cost of earth is not much, but the cost of the labor that is required to do the ramming, it has around 70% of the cost within the ram earth work. Okay, ratio is the depending on the location. Okay, for example, Godavari has a good soil. What I did, I did the 35% um, clay and 35% uh, sandy soil, 15% aggregate, and the plus 5% cement. We mix together by hand. We don't use any tools using the energy because mm -hmm. our concern is better to do the, all the job by hand and give the local people more job. First, we build a one corner using mm -hmm. the farm oak and uh, we have eight to ten people, ten people can finish the every corner every day. That is the, our, our mm -hmm. target. If we have a small amount of the people work, uh, on the corner, if they don't finish the within one day, you know, the next day the layer, layer comes, uh, sometimes it might, a small crack will come between the dry, uh, dry layers and the other new layers. That's the reason we try to finish one corner one day. Unlike brick and concrete building, where you have a foundation and then you have a concrete uh, pillars and beams in the Ramroth house, the weight of the structure is carried by wall itself. In the foundation, we have a stone masonry running along the perimeter of the wall, four to five feet deeper from the ground because it has to support the wall above it. And since uh, Nepal is, is an, in a seismic zone, so therefore we have a concrete tie beam just on top of the uh, foundation so it it acts like a plate like a ring beam that that binds everything and on top the ramming is done so we have 18 inch ram earth wall on top of that most of the walls are designed in a modular way so that same form formwork could be used in different walls 
so that allows saving of energy time and also cost during the construction okay. and also within rammed earth you have iron bars rebars reinforcement bar that is connecting the the bottom uh, tie beam with the tie beam of the first floor uh, the reason for doing that is it it prevents the entire structure from the lateral forces because the load above is carried by the 18 inch thick rammed earth wall but in case of earthquakes and wind loads these reinforcement within the within the rammed earth wall it protects rammed earth wall from falling outside or inside and then again uh, we do rammed earth on the top floor you you see the height of the bottom floor and the upper floor is different and reason for doing that is one proportion we want to maintain a certain kind of proportion that resembles vernacular architecture and second and most important reason for doing that was to reduce the weight of the structure and in the roof cover we got the tiles from the nearby uh, demolished building and we reuse it uh, in our site with a compactness and with a thermal mass of rammed earth and with the airtight double glazing windows and then uh, having insulation on roofing and flooring we have been able to reduce the energy consumption for heating and cooling as well we have calculated the temperature of naranji's house as well and we have found 5 to 7 degree difference inside and outside since i built this house it is very comfortable during the winter time outside temperature is then 2 degrees inside 19 degrees temperature this is a very good temperature you know we don't use any heater nothing number one number two in summer time keeps very cool we don't need to open the windows that's a natural material giving good properties ramrod houses especially the unstabilized ones are found to regulate the humidity levels better than the conventional brick and mortar houses so you don't have problems of like dryness in winter and chances of getting flus in a monsoon is also lesser and also we are not using any paints and toxic materials as well so it's child friendly as well so from from all of these perspective ramrod is good for environment economy energy and also for our personal health as well knowledge and information that i have gathered uh, around climate change and others uh, uh, one of the significant aspect of this uh, is um, the fundamentally you change your behavior this is uh, non compromisable at some point of time as you move so i had a um, if i cannot change everyone at least uh, to change myself and be example and i always had in mind uh, when we started launching this project it's for my own for my own satisfaction and uh, but hopefully it can also inspire uh, others as well